Jesse and I are in cleanup mode today. Somehow living in a small space, you just get this constant urge to purge everything out of your life that is not absolutely mandatory. Believe it or not, this is what our kitchen table looks like post-purge. <laughs> I think overall we do pretty good on keeping things cleaner in here. What do you think, Jesse? You know, it's a full-time job. The times while the tiny space is kind of annoying, you can spit shine this place in like 15 minutes. That's very true. What you working on? What does it look like I'm doing? Um, well, sharpening a knife, I guess. Bing, bing, bing. Um, I thought we were going to town to do chores and stuff. We are. Oh, so, why do you need a sharp knife? So, before we go to town, we need to dispose of a turkey. Up here. It's a turkey on our truck. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> and why do we keep turkeys on trucks? because turkeys and cars leak. But why do we keep it on the truck, not in the truck? I don't know. It's because it's cougar bait. Ah, uh, that'd be wild to see a cougar up here. This turkey's heavy, I have to pull it off the side. <laughs> wow. Oof. Okay, so we're driving home from picking up our drone. Oh. I'm not sure we told you about the drone. That might be a problem. We got a drone. When this turkey was on the side of the road. What you doing? Um, somebody hit a turkey. And I don't know if it's any good or not, but might as well grab it. You never know. <laughs> like, it could be at least cat food. Yeah. So, trying to always yep. be mindful of stuff like this. Figure out what we're gonna do with it when we get home. So because we're trying to be very resourceful, we kind of learned that salvaging roadkill is actually a thing. It's nice to not let meat go to waste, even exactly. if we don't eat it personally. A lot of people around here feed it to their pets. Yeah. And it's perfectly good food. Might not be human consumable yeah. per se, but... Somehow I was raised and in the city you see roadkill and someone mentions picking it up and you're like, oh, that's disgusting, it's barbaric. But up here, a lot of people do do that. Just think about it, someone might hit a deer, deer's dead, and nothing's wrong with it. People hunt deer all the time for meat, we go buy meat at the store. So if it is in edible condition, why not bring it home? And this is also why we keep random plastic bags and in our gloves car. Yeah. in the car. And it looked like it had just been hit, which is important. Yeah. And the turkey didn't look super bloody or mangled. It was really cold, so all the conditions said it's probably salvageable. This is still a little bit weird for me. I've been meeting, eating meat my entire life, but when there's your own animal, it's just, I don't know, it feels weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In all honesty, there's not a lot of meat on this turkey, but it's more about the exercise. And know your limits too. Like if we run into a moose, we're yep. probably not going to touch it. We have a lot yep. of friends in the area yep. who are more skilled, more knowledgeable, who also have like a truck. Like we're not going to try to pack a deer into the car and yeah. maybe, but something this size, it's pretty quick and easy just to pick up. So, yeah. so you've sharpened our knives. I have. If anyone so. has an awesome knife recommendation, please let us know. I bought this one in Boulder, Colorado at a Walmart for like four bucks. So I'm positive this isn't the knife that we should be using, but it's the one we have and it's better than a butter knife. Yeah, it's so funny because we get this turkey at the store and do you have any problem preparing a turkey for Thanksgiving? No. Yeah. But as soon as they put feathers on it, yeah, <laughs> it's like not intuitive. I think what's sad is some people, when they see them doing what we're doing, they lose a lot of respect for them. I, on the other hand, when someone's willing to get their own meat, I have a lot of respect for that because otherwise we're just sheltered about where meat comes from. Yeah, I think this is a very liberating skill. You know, it's it's easy to take criticism from people, especially those who aren't in favor of eating meat, which we totally yep. understand that, that school of thought. That's fine. It's not for everybody. But, you know, we, we can respect anybody who takes ownership for their food. That's yep. something that we can stand behind. We know not everybody's able to do that, but we're learning, that's all. Everybody's in different phases of self-growth. Yeah. That's pretty good, look at that. 
All right, that's our second breast. It's pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good haul. For, yeah. It's probably maybe even like four pounds. I think we're good. So what do you do with the rest of this? Well, I think some people that have a rural property put it on their property. And what a lot of people do is just take it to the local dump and put it in household waste. And I asked, is this okay? And people said, yes, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly acceptable. So that's what we've been doing. All right, Mr. Turkey. So I think we ended up with probably four pounds of meat or so. Yeah. Nice work. Nice. Good Into job. the fridge. So we're done with that. We're gonna clean the meat later. Right now we're just gonna run to the dump because anything could come up and we wanna get there before they close. We don't want this chilling around on our property. <laughs> Make sure to turn down my rap music. <laughs> my my Eminem, my 50 cent. So I ran into the snow scoop backing up yesterday. But awesome. I, don't, I don't see that I did any damage, so I win. feels like they're watching me and they're gonna like call me out and throwing an animal away. I don't know, I'm sure people do it all the time. <laughs> it feels kind of like when you pay for something, but when you walk out the little metal detectors at the store, it feels off and you feel guilty, but you shouldn't, you didn't do anything wrong. That's kind of how it feels. All right, turkey. Here we go, ready? All right, that chore is all done. We're excited to have some turkey to enjoy. Honestly, when we came on this journey, we didn't see ourselves gutting turkey on the tailgate of our pickup, but here we are, and it's part of the path to self-sufficiency. So hopefully you learned a little something about this uh, process, and you're kind of inspired to investigate this for yourself. I know Alyssa and I are super excited to find more roadkill, which is kind of awkward. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and the blog. We'll see you next time. Eva.